Heather Locklear was arrested on Sunday night after downing a bottle of tequila and crashing her portion to a pylon on the grounds of her California mansion, Daily Mail. Com can reveal. The troubled actress, 56, then attacked the cops when they arrived to calm her down and was arrested and booked into Ventura County Jail on police battery charges. Locklear is now believed to be inside a psychiatric ward at Los Angeles's UCLA Medical Center and has been placed on a 5250 psychiatric hold, which lasts for up to 14 days and includes a five day detox as well as mental evaluation. A source close to the actress told DailyMail.com the night of the arrest, she was so hammered. The police came Sunday at 6 and then left. When they came back at midnight, it was because she tried leaving, she tried driving out in her Porsche. She smashed her Porsche into a pylon in her gate. The source said Locklear couldn't make it off the grounds because she was so wasted. Ventura County Sheriff's Office sources confirmed to DailyMail.com that the 911 callout came as a result of a disturbance at Locklear's lavish Thousand Oaks mansion. Sunday's arrest comes exactly a week after Locklear was cuffed and taken to hospital after choking her mother Diane, 85, and threatening to shoot herself. After being released from hospital on Tuesday, June 19, the troubled Melrose Place star allegedly checked into a detox center but checked herself out again after completing just two days of a five-day program. On the way home from the detox center on Sunday morning, she purchased a bottle of tequila which she drank before later attempting to drive off in her Porsche. Locklear is understood to have been with a sobriety minder at the time. They hang out with you, try and keep you off the booze, a source close to the Melrose Play star told Daily Mail. Calm. But the bottom line is, you can do whatever you want when you're a celeb. They try talking you out of it, and then they called the police, if they feel they're in danger, if they feel you're in danger. They gave her a ride home from the detox center, obviously picked up a bottle of tequila on the ride home, and off to the races she went Sunday. That person was obviously with her Sunday. She needs a divorce from tequila, that's what she needs. When police responded to a disturbance call at the residence at midnight, an angry Locklear allegedly punched a police officer who attempted to separate her from her family and kicked an EMT who was attempting to strap her to a gurney. She was taken to hospital before being booked into the Ventura County Jail at 2 a.m. and now faces two misdemeanor charges of battery on a peace officer. Released from jail just after 9 a.m. on Monday morning, emergency services were called back to her home at 3 p.m. after the actress allegedly threatened to take some pills, according to a source with knowledge of the incident. Friends and family are now desperate for the 56-year-old to get help and are hoping she will become the subject of a state of California conservatorship which means being forced to get treatment for her alcoholism and pill addiction. Monday's alleged overdose caps of troubled six months for Locklear who is facing court in August over another drunken altercation in February. On that occasion, a source at the Ventura Police Department told DailyMail.com at the time, a wasted Locklear had flown into a rage and practically bit the tip off boyfriend Chris Heiser's nose. When police arrived at the address, an enraged Locklear became angrier still and punched a female deputy while calling her a C. A search warrant prepared by Deputy Keith Hall adds that Locklear claimed the fight began when Heiser lied to her and she threw a can of Red Bull at him. Hall went on, she then told an officer that Heiser had strangled her and that she was afraid he would kill her. Locklear stated she did not lose consciousness but was strangled for a long time and thought she might pass out. Locklear was taken to hospital before being booked into the Ventura County Jail at 1 a.m. on a single count of felony domestic battery and four counts of misdemeanor battery on a peace officer. Share this article Share Heiser, 56, was also booked in less than an hour later for DUI after being picked up driving erratically by the California Highway Patrol. The domestic violence charge was later dropped, but Locklear still faces trial on police battery charges and has temporarily been banned from possessing firearms. 
her residence has also been declared a hazard by Ventura County Emergency Services because of previous threats to shoot at cops. Although Locklear spent two months in rehab following the February incident and was seen attending an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in May with Heiser, she was arrested again on June 17. On that occasion, it was her mother who called 911, telling the operator that the former Melrose Place actress was acting erratically, was being violent, and was threatening to kill herself. A Ventura County Fire Department report obtained by DailyMail.com described the situation as being a suicidal who is violent. It added, hazard on file for this address. Resident has threatened to shoot deputies and has one handgun registered to her.